Go ahead, Ray. Yeah, we're pulling out at this time. Okay, pulling out at 1625. Uh, is everybody accounted for? That's affirmative. Okay, everybody's got a good route out. Roscoe Cannon, up it. I'm away. Ray, you guys coming back to your rig? Yeah, that's affirmative. Copy. You guys got contact with Firefly and Firestormer? That's affirmative. Okay, I'll shut up. Everybody's in the clear so I can notify dispatch. Uh, dispatch has been updated as to your situation. Hey, be advised, guys, you got spot down the bottom of the drainage. Crouch cannon, copy that. Spot down the bottom of the drainage. Yeah, copy that. How far until you guys get out of there? Shire Robinson, what's your location? Driver's up top with me, Justin. Copy. Time 1634. Crowd, you Go ahead, Dan. Are you got a place up there for a park all these engines? Uh, I blew a tire. I think I dragged out my fuel tank off. Okay. Uh, come all the way up to the old black here, Irish Springs, right at the point above the, the fire here. There's a good spot to park everything. Uh, copy. I don't know what damage I had in my truck. It's alright, just get it out of there. How did your decisions and actions compare to those on the Irish Springs fire? Did your situation awareness evolve with the incident? Did you recognize new problems or changes? When you recognized a change, did you identify new options? Your window of opportunity to make decisions is based on time. The amount of time you have to make decisions depends on how fast the environment changes. Your ability to recognize these changes depends on your level of situation awareness. 
You cannot slow time, only speed up your decision making process. As firefighters, our primary skill is decision making. Like any skill you wish to master, it requires study, practice, and real life experience. 